as I was looking over my week and realizing that I'm more creative when I'm not consuming, I wanted to dive deeper into the subject and my first question was, why is social media so addictive? That answer was found here. I've been really focusing on changing how I use social media, trying to get my time back, trying to be less obsessive, and just trying to be a better version of myself. So this video is all about that. Also, uh, it's lunchtime, so let's get some food. It's nothing new that social media is addicting because the release of dope. Well, dopamine. This positive feeling you experience gets identified as a reward to your brain. So your brain tells you, I like it, and you ought to repeat this and get more. As the feel-good dopamine wears off, you go back and the cycle repeats itself. Take those headphones off. So this might just be a me problem, but what I found is that the more I use social media, the less creative I am. The times where I'm just scrolling endlessly, I'm constantly comparing the work that I want to do and maybe an idea that I've had that somebody else has done, and it kind of holds me back. It makes me feel inadequate or as if the ideas that I have are now, uh, they just can't be used because somebody else has already done it. And the times that I'm not on social media, I don't have that feeling at all. It's almost like I can continuously have this flow of creativity just come to me and I never have to stop and think about it. The very act of creating makes me more creative. And the more I consume, the less creative I am. You and I know it's been something you so this dopamine, this thing in our brain that's wired to want to make us feel good, is in return actually hurting us. So I decided to detox, and how I've been detoxing from social media has been pretty simple and straightforward. I couldn't completely cut it out. I needed to replace it with something. Replace it with audiobooks, replace it with physical books, with note keeping, uh, really anything that was more healthy than just endlessly scrolling. This process at first was hard, not only because I was constantly looking for my phone and wanting to go and scroll, but uh, I had to kind of curb that addiction. And whenever I had those moments of going to my phone, um, I wasn't strong enough to just go and not click the app. For me, I had to actually delete the app off of my phone so that I could kind of get that time back. Just deleting the app was enough. Now this is weird because I've talked to other people about this exact thing and they say they don't delete, they can just have self-control. What I found is that that's just not the case for me. But one of the biggest things has been getting my time back. I can be down and you can be up. All we have is each other. Just when I think And your time is so valuable. You see, how you spend your minutes is how you spend your hours. And how you spend your hours is how you spend your days. And the, how you spend your days, that's how you spend your life. And if you're constantly scrolling and being distracted, well, what kind of life is that? So when I think to myself and I think about the time that I spend scrolling and the times that I'm in this uh, social media uh, wormhole, if you will, I don't get much from it. Yeah, I might get some ideas. Yeah, I might be inspired. And, and yeah, I might see something cool or laugh for a while, but is that really worth the potential of creating something amazing? Am I gaining more than I'm giving? Now, I'm not perfect at this, and by all means, I still fall back into the endless scrolling, but when I do have those moments of going into it deeper and deeper, eventually I ask myself, is this the best use of my time? Could I be doing something better right now? Something more creative, something more essential. And I'll leave you with this quote that really resonates with me on this subject and it's, technology makes a great servant, but a poor master. Hope you guys like this one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this style, kind of the vlog slash talking head slash um, topic, uh, if you will. And uh, also, if you like this, I have more videos kind of like this. Um, subscribe, you can check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.